What does it take to be great? Picture yourself not just dreaming of greatness, but actually living it. Now imagine Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor grappling with immense power, yet facing struggles like any of us. His story isn't just ancient history, it's a mirror reflecting our own battles. Aurelius wasn't born with wisdom or courage. He fought to develop these traits amidst life's chaos, just like you and I do every day. This is about real greatness. Not the kind you're born into, but the kind you build step by challenging step. So, how did Marcus do it? Through Stoicism, a philosophy that teaches the art of control, not over others, but over ourselves. Today, we dive into not just his life, but also into how you can apply these timeless lessons to overcome your own challenges. Are you ready to explore how these ancient principles can empower you right here, right now, to unlock a greatness that's uniquely yours? One, pursue excellence. Marcus Aurelius, a name synonymous with wisdom and strength, wasn't born a paragon of stoic virtues. His greatness was a daily craft, a relentless pursuit of excellence. Here's the takeaway for us. Greatness isn't a gift, it's a choice. Every morning when the sun peeks through your window, you're at a crossroads. You can either roll back into the comfort of your bed or rise with a purpose. Choosing the latter, that's what Marcus did, and that's where your journey to excellence begins. Now, how do we apply this in our lives? It's not about climbing mountains every day, it's in the small choices, opting to listen more and speak less, choosing patience over irritation in traffic, or deciding to focus on your task at hand instead of getting lost in the endless scroll of social media. These choices might seem minor, but they accumulate. Like Marcus, we don't become great in one giant leap. It's the tiny, consistent steps that carve our path to excellence. Embrace this journey, understanding that each day is an opportunity to be a better version of yourself. Two. Reflect every day. Welcoming the habit of daily reflection is like holding a mirror to your inner world, revealing truths and insights that often go unnoticed in the rush of everyday life. This isn't about scribbling down events of the day. It's an introspective journey, a quiet conversation with oneself. Imagine ending each day by stepping back, peering into the depths of your experiences, thoughts and emotions. It's not just recounting what happened, but digging deeper asking why you reacted a certain way, what triggered those emotions, and how your actions align with your core values. It's about finding patterns in your behavior, understanding your triggers, and recognizing your strengths and weaknesses. This daily practice transforms not just your awareness, but your very being, gradually steering you towards a more thoughtful and considered approach to life. This habit, simple yet profound, is accessible to everyone. It requires no special tools or conditions, just a few quiet moments of introspection. Whether it's before bed or first thing in the morning, find a time that works for you. It's not about writing a literary masterpiece, but being honest and open with yourself. The beauty of this practice lies in its simplicity and its power to transform. Over time, you'll notice a shift, a greater clarity in your thoughts and actions, a stronger alignment with your values, and a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. Reflect every day, and you're not just surviving life, you're mastering the art of living. Three, accept people as they are. Life tosses a variety of characters our way, each playing their unique part in the vast drama of existence. Marcus Aurelius, a master of stoic thought, recognized this and chose acceptance over frustration. It's a mindset shift that we in our modern bustling world can greatly benefit from. When you cross paths with someone who grinds your gears, pause. Instead of reacting with annoyance or anger, view them as essential to the diversity of human experience. It's like a puzzle. Every piece has its place, even those that seem out of sync at first glance. This acceptance doesn't mean you agree with or condone their behavior. It simply means you acknowledge their role in the broader tapestry of life. This approach has a subtle power. It frees you from the exhausting cycle of judgment and irritation. Imagine how much mental space and energy you could reclaim if you stopped wrestling with every challenging personality you encounter. By accepting others as they are, you're not endorsing their actions. You're giving yourself permission to remain at peace internally, regardless of external circumstances. This doesn't imply passivity. In fact, it's an active choice to prioritize your inner serenity over external conflicts. Remember that everyone, including you, plays multiple roles just as you might struggle with someone else's behavior, someone might find your actions challenging too. 
This mutual recognition fosters empathy and patience. It's a powerful reminder that we're all navigating this complex world together, each with our own quirks and idiosyncrasies. Embracing this diversity of characters not only makes you more tolerant, but also enriches your understanding of the human condition. This habit, deeply rooted in Stoicism, is a timeless tool for personal growth and peace in our ever-evolving world. 4. Refrain from complaining. Imagine you're stuck in traffic, late for a meeting, and your phone is ringing off the hook. It's easy to let out a string of complaints, right? But here's a twist from the playbook of Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic Emperor. He taught that complaining, even in private, gets us nowhere. It's like shouting at the rain to stop. It won't change the weather. It only adds to the noise. So, the next habit to cultivate is to catch ourselves when we're about to grumble. It's not about bottling up feelings. It's about channeling them constructively. Instead of moaning about the traffic, use that time to listen to a podcast or plan your day. Transform moments of frustration into opportunities for growth. Now, it's important to understand the difference between complaining and taking action. Speaking up for change isn't whining, it's being proactive. If something's not right, work on a solution rather than dwelling on the problem. Marcus Aurelius believed in facing challenges head on, not just airing grievances. So when you feel discontent brewing, ask yourself, what can I do about this? This shift in mindset is empowering. It takes you from being a spectator of your life to being the director. The truth is, our attitude shapes our experience. A day sprinkled with complaints tends to feel heavier and more draining. On the other hand, a day approached with a problem-solving attitude feels more fulfilling and productive. It's about making a conscious choice. Next time you catch yourself on the verge of a complaint, pause, take a deep breath, redirect your energy towards something positive or constructive. It's a simple yet profound shift that can transform not just your day, but your entire approach to life. Embrace this habit and watch how it changes the way you interact with the world. You'll find yourself calmer, more focused, and ready to tackle challenges with a clear mind. 5. Focus on what truly matters. Picture your life as a cluttered room filled with objects representing your daily tasks, desires, and distractions. Now, let's channel a bit of Marcus Aurelius and apply his wisdom to this modern mess. The next step to greatness, quite simply, is decluttering this room by focusing relentlessly on what's essential. Think about your typical day. How much of what you do truly matters in the grand scheme of your life? We often find ourselves swamped with tasks and commitments that frankly don't add much value. They're like those knickknacks that gather dust on our shelves. It's time to be ruthless and ask, is this essential? Every time you're about to commit to something new, this isn't about being cold or unfeeling. It's about respecting your time and energy. But here's the real trick. Once you start eliminating the non-essential, you'll notice something amazing. Your ability to focus and excel in what truly matters skyrockets. You're no longer a jack of all trades, master of none, but a focused individual honing your craft, whatever that may be. And in this era of constant distraction, that focus is not just valuable, it's a superpower. By doing less, you're not slacking off. You're strategically selecting where to direct your energies for maximum impact. Remember, every no to something non-essential is a yes to something that truly matters. Let's make those choices count. 6. Practice gratitude and virtue. The art of practicing gratitude and virtue is like adding vibrant colors to a canvas that life keeps painting in shades of gray. It's about recognizing that even in the toughest of times, there's something to be thankful for, a lesson to be learned, or a virtue to be polished. This habit isn't about ignoring the harsh realities of life, but about finding that silver lining, however thin it might be. Starting with gratitude, it's easy to be thankful when everything's going your way. The real challenge is finding reasons to be grateful when things are falling apart. Think of it as a game where you're hunting for hidden treasures in the dark. It could be as simple as appreciating a warm cup of coffee on a cold, dreary morning, or acknowledging the comfort of having a friend who listens. This isn't about denying your struggles, it's about shifting your focus. By doing this, you're training your mind to stay strong and resilient, no matter what life throws at you. Let's take a look at virtue. In a world that's constantly trying to mold you into something you're not, standing firm in your values is a rebellious act. Whether it's honesty, courage, or kindness, every situation presents an opportunity to practice a virtue. It's like being an athlete in the game of life. Every challenge is a chance to flex your moral muscles. 
You might not always win, but with each effort, you're getting stronger, better, more aligned with the person you aspire to be. Remember, it's not about the applause or the recognition. It's about knowing deep down that you're living true to yourself. So, as you walk through life, paint your journey with the colors of gratitude and virtue. It might not always be easy, but it will certainly be worth it. Every moment is an opportunity to be your best self, to turn the ordinary into something extraordinary. This habit isn't just about being great like Marcus Aurelius. It's about carving your own path of greatness, one step at a time. 7. Always keep learning. Marcus Aurelius lived by a principle that transcends time, the unending pursuit of knowledge. Picture this, an aging emperor, cloaked in the richness of power, yet humbly clutching his tablets as he heads off to learn from Sextus, the philosopher. This scene isn't just a fragment of history, it's a powerful lesson for us today. You see, in our fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the race for success, forgetting that true growth lies in continuous learning. Imagine treating each day as a new chapter in your personal book of wisdom. It's not about collecting degrees or accolades. It's about nurturing a mindset that is perpetually curious and open to new ideas. Whether it's picking up a book on a subject you know little about, listening to a podcast that challenges your views, or simply asking thoughtful questions in your daily interactions. Every moment holds a learning opportunity. Marcus's journey teaches us that our capacity to grow doesn't diminish with age or success. It's a lifelong endeavor. By embracing learning as a way of life, you not only enrich your mind, but also cultivate a humility that keeps you grounded. Remember, in the pursuit of knowledge, every step forward is a step towards becoming a better version of yourself. Like Marcus, Let's strive to be lifelong students, always eager to explore the uncharted territories of knowledge and understanding. 8. Forgive yourself and others. Embracing forgiveness, both towards yourself and others, isn't just a nice thing to do. It's a core habit that can elevate your life, mirroring the greatness of Marcus Aurelius. Let's face it, life today is a jigsaw puzzle of relationships, decisions, and actions. Sometimes pieces fit perfectly, other times, they're forced into places they don't belong. When we mess up, or when others let us down, that's where the power of forgiveness transforms our narrative. Imagine this, you're running late for an important meeting because you overslept. The old you might spend the day beating yourself up, but the new, stoic-inspired you acknowledges the mistake, learns from it, maybe sets two alarms next time and moves on. This is self-forgiveness in action, stripping away the weight of self-blame that often drags us down. It's about being as kind to yourself as you'd be to a good friend in the same situation. It's easy to hold on to anger and resentment, but what does that really achieve? Like Marcus Aurelius, who saw the potential for forgiveness even in betrayal, we can choose to release these negative emotions. This doesn't mean you condone what happened or forget it. Instead, you free yourself from the burden of bitterness. It's like setting down a heavy backpack you've been carrying for miles. Suddenly, you're lighter, more agile, and ready to face what's ahead with a clear mind and an unburdened heart. This habit of forgiveness isn't just about being great. It's about experiencing life in a more peaceful, meaningful way. 9. Put your ideals into action. Marcus Aurelius exemplified a powerful truth. Great ideas must be lived, not just pondered. So, what does this mean for us in today's fast-paced, complex world? It's about making actions speak louder, it's easy to talk about being kind, honest, or hardworking, but Marcus taught us that the real challenge is in doing these things consistently and genuinely in our daily lives. Whether you're a student, a professional, or a parent, embodying your ideal means making choices that align with your values, even when it's tough. Now, let's talk about influence. You don't need to be an emperor or a celebrity to make an impact. Your actions, no matter how small, create ripples in the pond of life. By choosing to act with integrity and kindness, you set a powerful example for those around you. This isn't about seeking recognition. It's about quietly but firmly standing for what you believe in. Keep in mind that becoming a person of great character like Marcus is a journey, not a destination. It's about striving to be better every day, not about being perfect. When you mess up, own it, learn from it, and move forward. It's this relentless pursuit of personal growth grounded in action that can lead you to a life of true greatness. 10. Restore your balance. Life is a dance, sometimes graceful, often clumsy. 
Marcus Aurelius, a wise Stoic emperor, understood this. He didn't preach perfection, but resilience. Imagine life as music. Sometimes we're in tune, other times we're not. That's life. But what do we do when the beat gets off? We find our rhythm again. This isn't about harsh self-discipline. It's about gentle correction. Like a musician tuning their instrument. You miss a workout. Tune back in the next day. Snap at a loved one. Apologize and start anew. It's not the misstep that defines us, but our return to the rhythm. Marcus once mused, not in these exact words, but in essence. When you rise in the morning, think of what a privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. That's a call to embrace every day. No matter the previous day's stumbles, we should celebrate our humanity, our ability to return to the rhythm of life. Every sunrise is a new chance, a fresh beat to our ongoing song. This habit, returning to rhythm, is about resilience, about finding joy in the journey, and about understanding that perfection isn't the goal, living fully is. Remember, it's not the fall that matters, it's the getting back up that counts. And that's a wrap on our journey with Marcus Aurelius and the transformative power of Stoicism. If this deep dive sparked something in you, remember, it's just the beginning. Your path to greatness is unfolding right now, and we're here to walk it with you. Quick reminder, hit like if this resonated with you, and subscribe with the notification bell on so you don't miss out on the journey ahead. We've got some exciting explorations into Stoicism coming up that you'll definitely want to see. And before you go, let's chat in the comments. Share your thoughts, your successes, your struggles with Stoicism.